Laser Vids. I'm a creator here in Rec Room. I sell dorm skins, toys, artwork, weapons, and I've even started making some rooms and PVPs. A couple of people have asked me to teach them how to use the maker pen so they can make their own dorm skins and start to make some serious money on the Rec Room store. So once per week, I'm going to release a video that goes over what I consider to be the most basic but necessary skills that will create a strong foundation for you to be able to build absolutely anything in Rec Room and sell it on the store. So if you've always wanted to make something but have had no idea where to start and no one to show you, this is for you. So the very, very first thing that you need to know how to do is find your maker pen. All you have to do is open your watch menu and click on backpack. And then for maker pen, click use. Some people make it a favorite so it's easier to grab from behind you. I don't do that. Open the menu and there you have it. It's everything that you're going to need to do anything. Make sure it's on create and then go down to palette and choose cube. On swatches, you can choose the color there and the material. It doesn't really matter for this. Now, the very first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is cover up the walls in the basic standard dorm. This is really, really basic and it's the first thing you do when you start any new dorm. It is a pain though. It can be kind of time consuming, especially trying to cover the windows. As you can see, they're all kind of on an angle because every dorm that you make going forward will need that to be done first. I've really only ever done this one time and then every time I make a new dorm, I just recolor the walls. Um, and that's probably the biggest tip I can give you to get started. So let's cover up the wall here at the door first. So you've selected cube and the material and color that you want. And all you have to do is literally press the trigger button on the maker pen and create a cube. Doesn't matter what size you choose this early on. And then flip back into the menu, go back down to tools and click move and then click on the cube and as you can see some arrows will pop up and that's how you're going to move this to anywhere you want it to be in the DOM. Hover your maker pen over the arrow you want to use. I want this horizontal red arrow so I'm clicking on it and then just moving it slowly over to the wall I want to cover. There we go. And then flip the menu back open and click manipulate. And as you can see, these blue boxes pop up on each side of the cube and you're going to hover over those and they'll turn yellow to indicate which one is the one you're going to manipulate. So let's click this one here and just drag it out all the way to the edge here. And then this one all the way to that edge. And as you can see, it's popping out a fair bit. So you can just use this cube to bring it back in like that. So it's a little flatter and takes up less space. And now you just use these top and bottom ones to drag it up and down. And you can fly or crouch down to get to the bottom. There we go. Oops. And then you can keep moving it the whole way across. Now it's up to you if you want these posters and signs to remain in your dorm. If you don't, you just manipulate the cube out until it covers everything that you want covered. It can take a little while for you to figure out when to stop and how everything works like that. And then you can click done on the maker pen, drop your tool and just have a look at what you've created. Oh, and you can see it didn't go down enough. So you open the menu back up, click manipulate, click on the wall, and then you can drag it down as far as you want. There we go. And that's what you can do on every single wall. So I'll show you again over here. 
flip open the menu, click on create, down on palette, make sure it's still on cube and the color that you want, go back to tools, draw your cube, open up the menu again, click manipulate, highlight the cube that you want to manipulate and then get to work. There we go. Mm -hmm. Make sure it doesn't stick out too far or not far enough. It's a bit hard to see. So if you fly by double jumping in your dorm, then you can go into the walls and make sure you've got it how you want it. Oop. I need that to come out a lot more. And I need that to come out a lot more. There we go. Not that much. There you go. That's another wall done. And this... This actually looks cute. I might use this color one day. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is the entire room. So I might speed it up a little bit in case it's a little bit boring. But let's go. Manipulate. Oop. Sometimes you might grab the wrong side. If you make a mistake, all you have to do is flip open your menu and click undo or redo. But be careful because it only lets you do a certain amount of undos before it, you can't do any more, <laughs> which is annoying. But that's the way it is. <laughs> Again, I'm going to fly into the wall, bring that up, Ooh, a bit more, let's see, there we go, bring it all the way down. Sometimes I don't cover the skirting board here, and I might make this a different color like neon or something, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just covering everything, because I think it's a really good starting point. Oh, that one's not high enough. There we go. Beautiful. So when you want to move between objects and manipulate different things or create different things, you can click done on your maker pen like I showed you before. Or what I do is I just throw my maker pen up into the air and catch it and that has the same effect. You can kind of see how easy it is just to make really small changes that make a big difference to the dorm. The other thing is you can change the materials and the colors later on. So you don't have to know your color everything covered immediately. that you won't want to keep in your own dorm. It's really, it's much easier to fly around to figure out this stuff. This is a bit tricky with the ladder. So something really important to note that I should have said before is you can't delete the stuff that's in this dorm, even if you don't want to use it. So for dorm skin creators, this is the bane of our existence, but we can't delete this guy. We can't delete the ladder. We can't delete these drawers or the basketball hoop or the lamp. It's very, very annoying. We have, everyone is always requesting a blank slate to build in. Like, why can't we just have an empty dorm? Whatever, I'm sure there are reasons, but it is a little bit annoying.
Perfect. Wow, that looks great. There's something else that I'll show you now that I'm covering these little shelves is how to clone. Open up your menu, click on the clone slash flip option, and then highlight what you want to clone. And you can just click on the arrow that is facing the direction you want your object. So I'll use this one. Then flip open the menu, click move, and the arrows pop up again to move it. And you just move this to where you want it to go, which for me is over there. And then you can obviously manipulate it to look how you want it to look. So this needs to be longer. Click manipulate and then drag. Perfect. And again, I can clone these to cover those shelves just so that they're the same. Clone. Uh, it doesn't really matter what way you choose as well because you can very easily rotate. So let's do it this way and then click rotate. And this little thing pops up. So I'm, I want it to face the other way. So I'm going to use the green one. Just tap it all once and it will flip. You can also drag it if you want to. But I don't need to do that right now. So I'm going to undo that and move it. And manipulate it because it's a little bit too long. You can see sometimes it looks like it's glitching out because it's on the same level I'm not sure what the proper word is but it's on the same level as something else so you just need to maybe raise it up a little bit not too much and you can that's you can see that that stopped the glitchy effect hmm actually And it doesn't need to be too far out, so I can bring it back in. And now I want to clone that. But you can see that because I cloned this one from this one, they're kind of attached. So to fix that, you just click on Select. And it highlights both of them, but I only want to clone this one now. So then you click on Edit. And just on the one that... Oops. There we go. Clone. And then move it up into position. It's a little bit here that I need to manipulate out. Perfect. There we go. And I need to cover this as well. Manipulate. There we go. So I've almost finished. As you can see, most of the dorm is covered in that lavender galvanized metal. I've just left a little bit of the window so that I can show you exactly how I did it. But this is the finished product up here. Again, it's all cubes. I just manipulate them and rotate them to get them to fit to these windows. This is something that you really only want to do one time and then just recolor it every time you make a new dorm because it's 
very time consuming. <laughs> so you go back into your menu, make sure you're on create, cube in the color that you want, and you come over here and draw a cube. Whoops. And then back to tools and rotate, or maybe, you, yeah, rotate. Click on that and we're gonna play around until it lines up. So I'm going to use the blue line to rotate to the correct angle. I think that's it, a little bit more. And then manipulate until you're covering what you need to cover. You can also make yourself bigger or smaller by holding in your middle fingers and then either going out or in. Do, 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 do. It's really fun. It's really fun to get as small as you can to create as well. I feel like a little fairy flying around. And you can grab the air and just pull yourself around as well. It seems complicated at the start, but it ends up being very useful. There we go. See how you can do that. Now, done and create another one for this side. Gonna rotate it. And then manipulate it to fit. Ooh. You can see I don't have it on the right angle so I need to rotate it a little bit more on the blue. and then manipulate it out to fit. And the good news is you only need to do this once because then you can just clone and move. And clone again. And move. <laughs> Balloon. And move. Make sure it fits. Might need to manipulate this one out a little bit. Might do the same here. This is the kind of stuff that you just play around with until you figure out exactly how you want it to be. And no matter what, you'll keep finding ways to fix it up. I try not to be too much of a perfectionist with this, especially when you're just starting out because it can get really frustrating. But yeah, that's it. I hope that that made sense and was somewhat useful if you are brand new to using the Maker Pen and new to making dorm skins. If you have any questions about anything I've shown you or any requests for future tutorials, please subscribe and leave a comment below and I'll either answer your question in the comments or in a future video. Thank you. Bye.